Hello there and welcome uh, yet again. Uh, this time I am looking at yet another window manager. This one is called XFWM, which may or may not sound familiar. And uh, if it does, then you know why it is already. If it doesn't, then you probably don't. And uh, what it is, is it's the window manager from a desktop environment called XFCE. XFCE is part of the lighter desktop environments. Uh, it's one I like a lot if you're talking desktop environments, though I, I prefer standalone window managers. But it comes with this window manager called uh, XFWM. Just like KD would come with KWIN, I believe is what that was called. So this one, and I believe Gnome comes with like Mutter or something. So yeah. This comes with, so XFC comes with what's called XFWM. And that's what we have here. So, you know, if we uh, close terminal and run NeoFetch, we can see it's running XFWM or XFWM4. And the 4 comes from the, uh, from the fourth version. I believe this one will be 4.6. So, you can see a bunch of my rubbish being used up as well. And if you're on HTOP, we can see it's OBS taking off the tram, so that's that. So yeah, we are running XFWM, it's a window master from XFCE, however it is not XFCE, because XFCE is a full desktop environment. So that includes other things, like, you know, it includes their own settings app, it includes uh, their own session manager, it includes things like that. This one doesn't. This only the window matcher. So now if you want to go to my roof and find XFC, we can see we only get, although we get some both XFC panel, we only get window matcher, window matcher tweaks, and workspaces settings. And uh, these are only parts of the window matchers. These are all parts of what the window matcher does. And uh, we don't have any filter stuff that you would have if you were running proper XFC. And because we're not running proper XFC, there are some different uh, configurations I've had to do, which I will show in a minute. But as you can see here, the scalable of running standalone, you don't have to use XFCE to run the window matcher of it, which is nice because it means I can run it using the normal access matcher. I don't have to install XFC bloat, I can just go with you know just the window matcher and that's that. Uh, and a couple of dependencies as well. But it's not a lot. It's like I think it's like uh, six apps or some, six packages or something like that. Uh, in any way, it's not a lot of stuff. It's uh, fairly few packages. So, it's very simple. Um, it's not lighter and the standalone desktop environment as well. Uh, it's not it's not as light as uh, Ice Window Matter or as Qtile. Uh, it uses a little bit under 200 megs of RAM, so it's like 180 megs of RAM at idle. Uh, I speed the measures are 150 and the uh, Q tile is around um, 160 ish on my system. Uh, it's quite high for Gen 2, but that's because I'm running NVIDIA drivers and NVIDIA drivers take up all the firm. So, yeah, it's more than you would find on typical Gen 2 installation, but uh, it's more than the other ones, but it's, it's not more bailout. It's less than XFC would be because I remember XFC taking up like 50 to 100 megs more than this. So, you know, it's going to save you some RAM compared to for XFC running it this way. And it's actually a very nice window matcher. But I'll get into my configs now and, you know, what I have actually done. So, because I'm uh, not running the XFC session, that means that. A lot of XFC is built in functionality from the work. So no, I couldn't install XFC settings, but I couldn't work with the key bindings in there because they record they use the XFC session to actually run. And I'm not running XFC session, so I cannot use XFC's own key bindings. I can use the window metro key bindings, those I can use. So you know I can do super and three and go to workspace super and two and go to this workspace super and one and so on. I can change workspaces using XFC's commands. But what I cannot do is add new key bindings to XFCE because those ones are in under normal XFCE settings and those are controlled by the XFCE session. And I don't have the XFCE session at all. I don't have that running here. I don't have it installed. So it's not going to be able to do those even if I set them up. 
and for that reason, I need to write my key bindings for things outside of the actual win window manager myself. And what have I used for that? It's something called XBind keys. And uh, I'll just move this to full screen. So you know if we uh so how do I manage those key bindings? It has something called dot we have something called XBind keys. And you can manage this once you saw the package. So it's called XBind keys, by the way. So the way you handle this one is you go to XBind. Uh, so you know we nano and we can go to X bind the keys RC. This is what it's voice called, which basically manages key bindings. So you can see here we have my volume settings from Pulse Audio here. Once again, these don't handle by the window matcher, this handle this is handled by whatever your session is, and in this case it's accession and the window matcher does have the functionality to do this. Then we have our Rohi Parmeni, which is uh, my spray key shift and escape. Uh, so that shows, you know, this, which basically allows me to do my power actions. You can see I have added logout here, uh, because uh, I don't have a button for it, so I need to have that there. Uh, and I don't have a key binding for it either. Once again, I don't want key binding for it, I just want to be able to do that many, because I don't actually have any, any inbuilt function for it anyway in the movement matter, so I just point in Rofi. Then I have one escape, which is this, it's that many. And then we have gnome screenshot, which is print. So if I use print, I get the screenshot taken. And then I have alacrity, which triple I use here, um, with mod four and return. So the super return, which I have been using so far. And the way you just saw me do is close an application using window, and that's mod and delete. That's from the window matcher. So let's look into my window matcher config next. So you know we can go to window matcher here. You can see a small theme as well. I made this theme. I'll get back the title as well. And uh, then we uh, got a keyboard. We can see we have my actual window metro key bindings here. And you can right away see I don't have the option to add more key bindings as to why I have to use expand keys. That would be in the accuracy zone settings menu. And those don't work uh, if I'm not running the accuracy session. So, you know, that's not going to work. So then I can do. Focus. Uh, so I have made focus follow most, as you can see. So I can have two things here. It looks like that. I have also made the delay very short, so it moves smoothly and quickly. And yeah, I also might give focus to the current windows as well and raise them when I click them. Then I have uh, my uh, advanced, so I'm making sure I don't have a window snapping anywhere. I don't want that to happen. And I don't wrap my workspaces, so no, I don't move workspace when moving a mouse or anything like that. And not my own windows either, because by default it does that, so I have disabled it. So I'm going back here, your solitaire thing we can look into, so window, manager, tweaks. So these are two uh, applications, so they can change your GUI stuff, so no, I have once again set of stuff here, so I change the advanced behavior. I have once again disabled any breakfast uh, warping, I have disabled the composter here. I'm burning Pecom. Once again, I'll come back to my issues later on with this, and that's why it's become. Uh, so, yeah. Then, if we run XC again, we can see there's also many good workspaces. And that's how you set your number of workspaces uh, and merchants. So, if you want merch for your workspace, you can set that as well. So, now I want to look more into my configuration and my theme and things like that. So, now if I open up, I just go to Twitter general. So, uh, I can go to this folder called themes and then I can go to dark eyes and dexf. All my files are under here. So if I open this up, you can see how much files here. And these are where my first gripe comes in, like the first thing I don't like about this. There's a lot of files here. I mean, we're talking like 122 items, 122 files. The two, one of these are me, but the rest, all the rest are theme files. So there's this theme RC, this one is text file. So if you launch it in VS Codium, we can see it's just like a bunch of inactive text colors and like much other details. But then you know if you want to change your like title bar look, you need to edit all of these files. So basically you yeah, have the PNGs, these change the actual look of them. So all of these are the default stuff on my theme. I have kept like the default PNGs here. Uh, for like the border and stuff because I don't see change that but like these icons have changed I have made this similar to my window manager theme um, I'll link my theme as well in the description Am I recording? 
guess I am good. Uh, but yeah, these are I have changed these manually. You get each, you know, in Ice Window Master you can change like your clothes and active, you know, cost active. You can change all of the like you have these multiple things you can change, you know. You can have like one file for both these things, but here now there are different files. It's a huge pain, and uh, out of the editing is also just guesswork because it's a huge pain. And then also they have the border both within to the actual goddamn images for the these cross buttons and stuff, and that's a huge pain. It's really not not nice. They need to do all of these individually, and the thing is, this also the background, so you know you need to set your background in this individual every single damn image. It's a huge pain in the ass to edit this. And I don't like it. It doesn't have to be that way. So if I open up uh if I want to open up my ice window master theme for context. I have twenty one files here and I have five files here. That's all I have. It's these few icons. I just have you have a bunch of these you set your colors in the theme text file and then you have these different icons for a few things. You have, you can see you have both our, you know, our pressed and not pressed things here as well. Here, no, here, no, you have the, you know, no, you have these separately and you have all of the different ones. It's a huge pain in the ass. There's so many of them and it's, it makes no sense to have so many of them. You don't set your border colors, you don't set the colors of them in the, you don't set your bar color in a settings file. Text color you do, but don't, the, not, not the top, top bar color. You, you know, editor separate. Then you have these XPM files too. Like, you need to set these ones. All these must be reduced to the size. So you need to change every single one of these to get your bar smaller or bigger. Every single XPM file here you have to change to make your bar uh, properly sized. You don't have to change them if you only use, like, if you don't use, like, a particular, like, you know, clothes or whatever, then you don't need to. But if you want the size to be applicable everywhere, you need to change every single one of these, like, whatever. 60 XPM files, not that many, but like there's tens of XPM files I have changed to go them high value for. It's so much. It's way too much. It's an awful way to configure a theme. I don't know why this is that way. It's it's so dumb. Like it's just an awful way to handle themes and uh it's bad. Lucky like, enough the default team looks good. It actually the default team is really good. Uh so if you want to use that one, you can scan. I want to make it a bit different. I didn't like the gradient on it. I want to, I prefer this um, flat finish. I want to have my own buttons and so on. So I had to go and change things and it's a huge pain in the ass, but I was able to change it. After like five hours of doing it, uh, I was fine with it, but it took a lot of time. It took a lot of effort. It's just unneededly hard. I don't get it. It's complete nonsense. But yeah. Going past that, I was able to make a theme, it looks good, you can see I have my title bars like this, I have, that's pretty much it, I have my buttons like this, and yeah, I have a bunch of functions here too, so let's go back to functions. I have the sticky thing that allows me to move between workspaces, as you can see here, uh, stick to it, first, that I wouldn't. I can have a menu here, it's a bit slow, but it works. I can roll it up like this. I can minimize it, which I can actually draw tab. I can full screen it, which is hidden by a panel afterward. Then I can close it. Of course, the key bindings for all of that, so now I can do suppress for this, and I can do super del and so on. Now, going back to my key bindings, I can also do super w, super x, and super d, super a, super q, super e, super c, and super c. You can see it's a bit different. From Ice Window Matcher and Ice Window Matcher, you can position it in a different place on the screen, but it doesn't like size automatically or anything like that. On here, you can it does size, you know, it takes size to a quarter of the screen, like this, or half if you size it up. Um, you don't have center positioning thing, however, you have you don't have that function at all. You have you know, but I have to full screen it instead, and that comes down to other crap that I have. I'm not able to customize as much like an Ice Window Matcher. So I like Ice Window Matcher, Floating Window Matcher, but it's all the functions, you know, it's... You have a ton of things you can do in its customization. But with this XFWM, it's very limited. So you have a text file for it, but it doesn't have many options in it. You can only do very little. And uh, that amounts to what the GUI can do. You can change the button show up here. 
You can customize your hardware. You can customize your title bar look. You can do different themes. That's where you can have to configure. You can, you know, uh, change uh, your workspace behavior, stuff like that. But you can't change a lot of things. You can't do like, you can't really do as much as you can see the manager. You can't, you know, configure window behavior nearly as much. You don't have an old start function. You don't have uh, really, you don't really have customized key bindings here either. Because once again, this built to work with this environment. It's not built to be a standalone thing. All of the customization that should be with it comes from this environment. But we don't have that, so it doesn't actually exist here. But as I said, I have, I have so much trial of third uh, party things. So I have, you know, configured my uh, uh, key bindings, tracks by keys, and smack app many, trophy, and uh, whatnot. So I have things configured to work fine, but it, it does have a lot of customization. You can't do as much of it as you can with like Ice Window Matter. And it's a pity. There's only so much you can do. It does really have fun. It does really have all the things you can do with it. That's really my, like, that's the biggest problem I have with it. It's not really customizable. But what I do like about it is the default stats. But the things you can do with it. Because I much prefer this layout to Ice Window Matters. I like being able to, like, to automatically go off the screen. Also, while it doesn't have, like, I can't do, like, two, one key click to, like, automatically organize like, sting windows like this. I have to do it with every, every window individually. I like being able to do it, you know, like this. I would like being able to go, like, individually quickly go. Because I with the master, I have to, like, go to, go to, like, a side, then um, a vertical smash to maximize it, then move it again. And it's, it's huge pain. But here I can automatically go into these different modes. Indiv like, it instantly. It's very quick, very efficient. I love this. And it's so smooth. It works so well. Like, it's very well implemented. And I love how it's well implemented. I absolutely love this way of handling these windows. And it's very useful. So I love this. I just wish you could customize things for you really choose what you want to do. Uh, because you don't have that many options here. But I do like this window much more. Like, overall, like, even outside of this. The implementation is like really good. There aren't any major bugs. It works very consistently, and it's very polished. It's it's very good, and I like that. Uh, but yeah, it isn't customizable. Uh, you can't really do that much with it. It's not meant to be standalone, which is why it has those limitations. I think. Um, but yeah. Besides that, to continue, I do while I do like it. It has some issues, and I have mentioned those already. But another weird thing I wanted to set this up, I was trying to originally do this with access C panel. But I wasn't able to get good time access with the matter. I wasn't able to get working with the panel of access C. So the way it would work is I would uh, start. I think I probably could have got it working, but I didn't buffer. Uh, I was worth it. Uh, but I tried to get working. It's basically I tried to launch it the panel along with the uh, window matter. And what it would do is it would open the panel, it would open the window matter, but it wouldn't show the panel. It would be running, but it wouldn't show up. I would have to separate it from the internal to be able to actually run the panel and show it properly. Uh, so that did not work. I was not able to get it to work, and it's just kind of, yeah. It did launch properly, it kind of just launched inside, but it didn't run the panel properly. It didn't launch the panel along, it didn't show the panel. And I was able to get to show the panel by touching my desktop enter. But what that did was it completely broke everything. So basically what would happen is it would... Um, Launch them with the master fine, but they would take like 10 seconds uh, and then the panel would appear. That's too long, it should appear instantly, not over 10 seconds. And then my X term configuration will be screwed. I want this next term now, but the point is, it will basically run my session as root. Because when X term is screwed, what that means is I'm running the actual goddamn uh, session as root. That's what's going to happen. That's what happens, you know. If X term has the white, Set up, I'm not running as my user. And that's not good. I want to run as my goddamn user. For all kinds of reasons. It's not safe to run as root. I want to run as user. So that didn't work. 
I tried to say it in my um actually let's go here. So um I have something called X profile. This start uh this starts my applications that I want before I start uh my thing. So I set my keyword format, I set my I make sure I'm I don't get uh screen timeouts. I have every window manager as well. I don't have a memory, but I did. I haven't changed this, but yeah. This one makes checks that I have uh, that as my description, and then it runs Alex Pro and Alex Pound keys. But I haven't received this one very interesting. So, XFWM. I'm running Alex Pound, and I'm running. And if I'm in order to, I'm running a FebbG, uh, which is basically. And I also have my Alex Pound keys here. So I'm running it as Alex Pound keys. Uh, if, so it turns out. Alex Pell or Alex Pell keys. This may be the other side over time. This is my current, by the way, my wallpaper. Which Alex Pell does do by itself also. And I have Pick'em. But yeah. I had before, uh, uh, I tried to set the Alex FC panel here. And it wouldn't work. It wouldn't show the panel. It wouldn't show the panel. That's so dumb. And it, I tried to work without any panel. And it won't launch. But... So it's clear that access from WM needs a panel to run. But it can be an A panel. And I'm running Alex panel now. So I was able to, if I, if I put Alex panel here instead of uh, access panel, it works fine, it works perfectly. It, it's true to dock properly, you know, I can't move it around, I can't do anything with it, it's, you know, it's it's there. I, it does, it isn't considered a window. Like it's there, window matter. And, you know, it works perfectly fine. And it's all good. I, uh, you know, it works perfectly, the Alex panel. I can see his own panel didn't work. It's why does your own panel work? It's it's so dumb. It's so weird. But yeah, I was able to run Alex Pro and I like this more anyway. I don't really like access to his panel that much, so Alex panel is all really good. Um and I was able to make configuration I like the look of. So yeah. I'm more fine with that, and you can see it kind of puts the bar in there when I go full screen. But yeah, I like this setup, you know, I like what I'm able to do here. Um uh, I'm s I'm happy I was able to get running with Alexpro, but yeah, it was hassle to this up uh, because of that. Also, what I had to do, I had to make my own uh, desktop position for it, so you know, I had to go to... It's very simple to do, by the way. I had to make my own desktop entry here in Accessions. So, you know, XFWM, you can see I have this here, so yeah. Uh, I had to do this myself, so I used to have it here, but it would... It would uh, the issues, so I didn't do that anymore. But yeah, that's that. Uh, that's how this works. Um, so yeah, I was able to probably get working through all the hassles with uh, the Alex panel, and now I have something to configure it, work with my theme for the time it took, and why not? Uh, but overall, uh, although I had some issues with it, which you described, I like it. I mean, it you know, it does. Uh, it does a good job at actually, you know, so I don't run, run like, let's say, four terminals, I can do this. You guys, it all makes nice things. So I can put this here. I can put this here and this one here. You can see, you can, I can also make you do this kind of thing. Also, I have rounded counter or rounded uh, corners. It's great. It allows me to do this even without like a compositor. I could turn pick them off and, you know, not have that. But why did they go pick them? Uh, I like, I don't like using combustor normally, and they also, when I do, I like XCOM MTR. But, I had issues. Without the combustor, the windows would lack like hell. I do that behavior and I swing the matcher, but I would have big time issues with performance, and that was not good. So I enabled XCOM MTR. Worked fine mostly, but I go to PCM and FM, and I have uh, huge hangouts. My system would freeze and it would cause huge issues. So, that didn't work. I guess it's in, uh, Access WM's input compressor, not working either. Same issues as XCOM MGR, you know, with the freezing. Pick'em works perfectly. So, I use Pick'em now. Simple as that. But yeah, it works fine. Uh, it works perfectly with Pick'em. So, now I'll use Pick'em if you use this one. Uh, if you use with the master, basically. But yeah, it runs very well actually. It's it's very lightweight. It's, it's not as light as I think the match or but it's it's not that much uh, higher. It's very light. 
I love the default with like the uh you know I didn't even know super key there, but you know I can move these here like this. I love that. It's very convenient. Workspace works perfectly. Uh, I can move workspace, I can move this between that and then go here and come back to one. I can also make it sticky, so now I can make this one sticky and then move it I go three without doing any movement of it. I can I can't move it away with like uh, the one key and so on. So yeah. That's that's really I really like this one. It works smoothly, it's very polished, it I love the workflow, uh, I love being able to you know I love being able to do these things with my key bindings when I work uh, with my, you know, this. I love being able to shape things. That's for the key finger. But also, I love how water panel works. I love how I can, I love the you know, actual basic functions. I, everything works very, very well. It's a very good window matcher. I really do think that it's a very, very solid window matcher. However, it is not very function rich. You can't customize it too much. Uh, you can't, um, the theme comp making is an absolute pain in the ass, it sucks, I don't know why they made it away, so it's, it's really not good. But I like my theme, you can just use my theme if you like it, you can use the default theme, it's pretty good. And you know, there's a lot of other themes as well available, so use whatever you want. Um, you have good functionality, everything works well, uh, but yeah. It's limited, you need to run, you need to work any extra key bindings, you know, if you want to open up with key bindings, if you want to do your rope stops, you need to have separate app for it. X bind keys works perfectly. You need to have your own bar. It can be like a series panel, a panel if you can get it working. Um, you know, you need to have your own key binding app. You, someone, you know, you get the idea. It's, you have your own startup app. Someone, you know, the point is you need all stuff to match on your own and get separately. Uh, that will add to your resources to swallow, and you know, it's a bit heavy for that reason, but it's, it's fine. Uh, it runs perfectly fine, you can get it running, it looks great, it works great, it's... It's really nice, I've been using it for like two days now, and I absolutely love it. I think it's totally, it's comparable. I like it as much as I like my ice window matter, it's great. It has some weaknesses to it, I have mentioned those. Uh, but if you're ready to get past those, if you're a fan of the default it has, you know, if you're ready to customize things to the exit, it allows you to, it's fine, it's only, it's, it's only a window master at the end of the day. The biggest changes are going to be in your, like, panels and stuff, and you can do it separately. So, I like this one, I share all my contacts down below, uh, and you'll get to see those, you can get, go and get those if you want, uh, change anything. 